Dracula of Monsters and Men. Previously on Dracula, married me. Things will never be the same. You are to be married, and that is that. How long must I spend skulking in the shadows? I want to walk in the sun like ever any other man, screaming, not until I've done further tests on the blood I took from you. These cells are alive. I want to find out everything about this General Shaw. He's powerful ally to my competitors. These are General Shaw's personal accounts. General Shaw is taking bribes. My attention was to embarrass the man. I'm not suggesting I should just let this go, are you, Mr. Grayson? The privilege of the first dance. You wish to employ my services in order to get Mr. Renfield to answer one question, grunting, what? Who does Grayson love? Laughs, smart, screams, panting, chuckles, shuffles, cards. Vampires don't parade about attending balls and running businesses. They are creatures of night and shadow. My point precisely. In all the months Grayson lived in London, he's yet to attend a single event in daylight. Well, if that were the proof, I have to hunt half the title cats in London. And consider those who witness his interests. Sir Cl- Clive, killed by a wolf. Lord Lambert, persuaded to forfeit his company, the cost of his life. Meanwhile, the man develops a technology which, if successful, render our investments in the Ottoman oil fields worthless. I understand your concerns, Mr. Browning. I do. I spent a lot of, a great deal of time, Mr. Grayson, can show you. As your head huntsman, I would have noticed if the demand was not to follow soon. Thomas, you've been looking into the man. Into the, into the man. What do you think of him? Well, I must say I do share your concerns, Miss Browning. Based on what evidence? Oh, nothing specific. Pretty instinct. Shall I probe further? No, that won't be necessary. I know a way to flush out the beast once and for all. Thank you, Owen. Owen Winston. Little girl tells me you have a case of one eight eight Chateau Marex. I do, Madame. Laughs. Oh, Alexander, you must try this. It's exquisite, of course. If you excuse me for a moment, laughs. A single de playing card folded elegantly down the center and torn into two pieces, shown on the front and back. Now watch very carefully, because your eyes will deceive you. Laughs. That's extraordinary. Yes, the soup, Julianne, is extraordinary. So, should I should have that. And so to you, Mina. I'm sorry, darling. I don't know how someone so bright can enjoy something as simple-minded as parlour magic. So how is it done, then? It's simple, really. Why, Mr. Grayson, you have a gift of making London seem small. Miss Murray, you're looking lovely tonight as ever. Permit me to explain. The card is folded down the middle. It's tall, not, but not the whole way. In fact, it's folded back in, in itself. And you, you, mine... Tearing the card in half, good heavens, so it appears to be torn. Last, but really, it's still in one place. The rest is purely theatre. You're very good, aren't you? Isn't it, Jonathan? Yes, quite. Yes. If the business should prove fruitless, you might very well enjoy a future on the stage. Now, if you excuse me, may I appear to have... I have appeared to have been abandoned by Alistair. I'm sure he'll be back when he's done showing off. Oh, I have no doubt. Darling, would you pop, pop in for tea at mine tomorrow? It's just, it's just, I feel we have so much in common. If it, it would be a sin not to get to know each other better. Yes, of course, I, lo- I love to. See, I know what you like. it's like to be denied one heart's desire. See, I also know what it's like to be desire. It would be denied by one heart's desire. I have no interest in whatsoever in Alistair Grayson. I'm not talking about him. I'd like to apologise for leaving your engagement party so abruptly. I hate to think e- either of you interfered. A personal slight or diminution of my fondness towards you as a couple. You, Harker, are the king of hearts, and you mean the queen. And even if e- an evil little jester comes to tr- tries to come between you, he cannot sever your bond. Vincent, please see to that it. But my friends get the very best of my account. My account. Now, shall we see just how much Mr. Grayson's fortune we can drink in a single night? 
Let's both laughing. Winston, both laughing. May I take your shawl, my queen? You may, my king. Both laughing. How was your promenade? Oh, spoilt by too much rain. This will require your sisters. Thank you. You're welcome. Laughs. Are you sure? Tense music. Season one, episode six of Monsters and Men. I've been thinking, hmm, about? I should, we should elope. Elope? Hmm, makes sense. Why do you go through the trouble of forming a wedding when we could just be together? You and me as we are. Do you honestly feel that what we did last night makes our vows any less sacred? No, no, of course not. And we should get married in the church before God and our family and all of our friends. Of course, we're set at eight. What are you doing tonight? I'm due at the university, I see. I'm playing sickle fiddle to your work with Dr. Van Helsing. Both laughing, you're late. Neil nickel steel alloy, 60% lighter than irregular steel. Amazing heat transparent properties. Non-magnetic as well. The answer to our resonated, so noted casing, casing problem. Very good, Harker. Do not suppose you can tell me that foundries in London, England, XPTs in nickel steel alloy? Trick question. There's only one, and Renfield found it. Empire and Colonial Methodology. Now it's owned by him, a one Edwin Telford III. He's American. Wild money, Boston blue blood. He's at the families and shipping. Besides doubling business, sees Edwin as a fanatical interest in all things Wild West. Cowboys and Indians, outlaws, six guns full of women. And most instantly, poker, five card jewel. All well Comers welcome with unlimited stakes. And so it just happens he's a game this evening. Does he now? Hmm, excellent work, Mr. Harker Renfield. Good to see you on the mend. Have the police make made any headway on your attackers? I'm sorry to say no. I told this type of gang attack is too common on, our, on your east side. It's hard to believe they attack a man your size. I measure their desperation clearly. I'm I am surprised I could be grateful he didn't want to take my life as well. Time after all, oh, heals all wounds. Not all true, sir. There are still things we can do to lessen this thing. Arca, can you, can you excuse us for a moment now? Of course, you found it. Yes, sir. The Dreen Terekaha. Are the Dreen Terekaha? Oh, 15th century Romanian, Romanian fellow. Will it borrow quick? We've intercepted a telegram from his, from his van. Greenfield to the auction house. Seems that for 12 years, Grayson has employed agents all the globe in search of his trailer park. The auction is next week. Oh my god. Mm, good work, Mr. Cameron. Ackett, get me to this gesture in Tudorak. If Mr. Grayson wants it, so do I. You bet, Mr. Grayson. Huh? I t- fold, fold. Three tens. Mr. Grayson. You have played this game before, correct? I have, Mr. Telford, many times. Well, well, I certainly wouldn't know it by your intimidity, sir. You followed nine straight hands. A card aren't worn to my liking. Yet you bet recklessly on the right up until the very last noun. Just about cleaned you out without seeing a single one of your cards. Just about. How is this it was it your evening, sir? I suspect that Mr. Edwin Telford III is busy trying to explain his mum and daddy has lost his business in the car game. The animal stopped to committing for London British to to call it has been very sketchy. Instead of Friday evening, it is to be held at noon and solarium in the middle of the day. Send my regards. Sir as chairman, you must attend a risk proxy vote, which will remove you as head of company. Lose control and lose the coolant. Damn, Van Helsing. I told him to lay our plan to avenge your order until he perfected the serum. And I lose my company of burn. Now I lose my company of burn. Damn. Cross. What is it? Why is it hidden away? What in the world was I thinking? Thank you to Green to meet me, Mrs. Westerner. I don't mean to embarrass you at the Savoy. It's just I saw the manner in which you were gazing at Miss Murray. I felt I was spending was peering into a looking glass. Oh, oh dear girl, both laugh. Oh, don't be frightened. I mean, surely, Manibola, surely your mother told you how commonplace those urges are? No. Well, 
Yes, of course. A perfectly natural part of women's moderation. Moderation. I, recent, I myself had several female lovers before I contemplated with a man. Really? Hmm. They, these, those longings are not unusual. In fact, Mia, lightly see, feels the same way about you. You never uttered a word, neither have you. See, women have their many secret ways of expressing desire. The touch of hand, gentle hug, stolen glance, a hint of bound. Mina, no doubt, is so afraid to unveil her heart to you. The next time she gives you a hint, assume the, the, the burden. Tell me her about how you, how you feel. What is this? We owe the failure of this last serum experiment with the sorcery of vampiric blood. The heart alone cannot generate the prejudice to the force of serum to capillaries. This can. We are ready to test on a new subject in a few days. Chuckles, no. We will test it tomorrow, me. I must let you get back to your jab. Lab, I'm sure your calculations are correct. Tomorrow, Van Helsing, tomorrow. I thought I told you specifically to keep this to yourself. I had no choice, Jim Shaw is a traitor. You know I admire your practices, Parker. If anyone should even suspect I had anything to do with this, they won't. I am very discreet. I have, it was a friend of a friend of an old contact at times, so he never come back to me, let alone you. You see that it doesn't. Children laughing. You're certain it was Mr. Renfield? I got a good look at him. I, it was him, all right. Did he identify himself? No, sir. I saw him before. It was, is, it was Grace Man, a large black gentleman. I saw him handing money to a woman called Vera and Markham. Heard him say Mr. Grayson would spare no expense to keep her dental secret. The order thanks you for your service, Mr. Duhallis. Bear no expense. Find out about this very out Markman and why Grayson might have reason to be paying her off. By legal means, sir? By many means necessary. Whip snaps and horses whinny. What are you doing, Professor? Hmm? This is this will be all, Mrs. Murray. I no longer require your assistance. You're to charge me? That will be all. I conducted an experiment by adding substance to human cheap cells, a dead cells re reanimated. But that, that's not possible. No, I repeated the experiment and the re results were identical. Have a seat. Your mind is impossible to contain. Is your, your mind is impossible to contain, Miss Murray. Unfortunately, your fusion does not always lend itself to accurate results. The substance you found is actually an inverted medium containing a microscopic parasite. I obtained in Samaria. I would have observed, I would have observed this living organisms. Normally, yes, but these creatures are too small to be observed, even with a microscope. No, I don't, don't see how. So you see, my dear, that you, what you call human animation is nothing more than a stretch of cells being attacked by thousands of ferocious parasites. Chuckles, I apologize. The truth is my mother died when I was very young. I'm sorry. Chance of the throat and stomach. The, the, the wish, you wish to cure cancer? No. I wish to cure death. Chuckles. So you read Dr. Freud's latest paper, Fear of the Phenomenon, he calls projection, by which objective conversation is distorted and a subjective desire? Yes. I'm sorry. I wasted your time. Door opens. Allegations still need to be proven in court. The gutter press have already handed down their verdict. Sure is, sure is useless, sir. The devil will already have a lead on the source of the story. No doubt the American is behind this slander. He had most to gain. Well, speaking to, of whom, appears we were attending your shareholders' meeting. So much for flushing up the beast. Perhaps you should lead the vampire hunting to me. There's ample time for him to spend his, send his regards. Huntsman, much as I have been long tolerated your extra circle of activities, if you are involved with Grayson, you prove to be a vampire. You will not only face the full wolf of the Brotherhood, but mine as well. Drive, walk on. Well, this is winning. I'm laughing. I'm winning. Ah, are you now? Yes. Shall we wager? It's a race then. Laughs. I think. We might tie both laughing, Lord Devonport. Ah, soon to be Mr. and Mrs. Harker. Mary go where music playing. Music starts. What on earth are you doing here? Rain as ever, Mrs. Murray, the portrait, portrait of the blushing bride. Ah, Miss Harker. Couldn't have a word. Of course, I'll be right back. You 
you know, I always found it queer that Alexander Grace and Heidi. I mean, what does an American entrepreneur ever have have for rentless journalists? Given a recent libel, Jenny Shaw. I appeal for the for to have the answer. I appeal to have the answer. Look, Grayson isn't involved. Even if he was, it, it, it isn't liable that if the charges are true. I don't know, didn't know you had such a remarkable precedent for ruining, ruining the lives of innocent men. Men, what makes you so sure that they're immune from some fate, same fate? Only one ticket, I'm afraid. Enjoy the show. The lady you see, the lady you see you, madam, a stranger. Well, ask her to come in. Dr. came at the same time, sir. Did you go straight into my room? Yes, sir. Do you know? How do you know, Nora? How do you? How do you? Who? How do you do? You don't recognize me? I suppose. No, I don't know. Don't know. Yes, to be sure, I seem to. Christine, is that really you? Yes, it is I. These are Colonel Saw's personal cats. To whom there stole her shirt, stole shareholder. Empire Munitions. She's not a bookkeeper, she's an actress. I'm altered. Oh, you have altered? Yes, indeed, mine. Ten year long years. Why is, isn't this, well, isn't this handsome? An ivory satin draped bodice, with a broad yoke and gold shirt, skirt, trimmed with lilies of the valley. The first train is so regal, seamstress could make the additions. Hmm, truly, Maya. One should at least pretend to derive pleasure from planning what, what of one's own wedding, but if only for appearance sake, I do. It's just, I just think I'm being deceived by whom? Professor Van Helsing. What would he gain from lying to you? I don't know. I suppose I've been a, I haven't been a beacon of honesty myself. His sustenance I've been working with has some astonishing properties, characteristics, and revolutionized medicine. Why would anyone want to conceal such an incredible discovery? Perhaps he doesn't want to, and uh, that he feels that he should. Speaking of such notions, Mr. Zulu, I'm sorry. Always talk of science for search of cures. You must find it all intolerably dull. Not that when you're speaking of it, laughs. You need to humor, humor me. It's not you, you kind to humor me. It's not kindness, Mia, but love. Lassie and Lucy, I love you, Mia. I love you. We are dear friends, we're sisters even. We could be much more. It's a natural part of our motivation. I broke things off at Anderson. Did I tell you? Mother begged me to know the reason. She would have flogged it out of me if she could, but I couldn't tell her. Wouldn't tell her. The reason I did I did it was it, it was the reason I did it was you. Size, I've always loved you, Mia. Lucy, I don't really like do you realize it till now. I do not, I do, I know now, know that I always have. Every time that we danced and dressed and cried, slept together. Is that why you wanted my Jonathan? Not to protect me, but it'd be your own gain. No, me, it's not like that. Uh, has our old friendship been a pretense? Of course not. Hmm, you need to leave, but Maya, please, Lucy, electrical current will start the heart, the heart, your heart will beat. Your natural blood pressure would not be significant before they could distribute the solar serum through the small capillaries and fuse the tissue so you might recall from your, our last efforts. I didn't think I'd ever forget your uh, your last efforts. Baragus, the preparators will argument, argument your blood pressure and infuse the tissues. You experience some discomfort. The pressure must be immense to cure Complete saturation of tissues. Are you sure you will still want to do this, sir? But do not do this, Renfield. All our efforts will have been in vain. We can't win. We can't go if we won't go. If we don't go all in. We're ready, ready now. Groaning, power off again. Going now. Groaning, enough. Quickly, groan. Scrunch, yelling, shouting. Grayson's late. Grayson's finished. No sign of Mr. Grayson. How fortunate for you. Might I even recommend? Keeping it short for once. We have no idea how long the serum will last. They've been qu- quite so motivated to be concise. More life. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I tend to your being brief. 
because quite nothing quite ruins a beautiful sunny day that took some profit and earning. Let us begin by looking at the financial condition of the British Imperial. Oh, very well, talking this way, Mr. Grayson, but you know yet to see you any profits. Lord Redcroft, Red, I understand your concerns. All I can say is, about, is that with absolute confidence, you can expect handsome profits at the end of this quarter and many more to come. Excuse me, gentlemen, before I go, allow me to say this. Nothing speaks louder than success. British Imperial is and will continue to be a key partner in the development of electric energy technology for driving the next century. Applause. Mr. Grayson, you haven't quite answered all the questions. Given the Grayson energy is a sole customer of British Imperial Coolant, his health is a tremendous input to us all. We are back on track and budget and power all over London. And by the end of the fiscal year, we must go. Hold on, sir. They, we're nearly there. Hold on. Shouting. Hold on. Shouting Hungarian. Shouting. Shouting and Hung- Hungarian instinct chatter. Good night, Varian. Good night, Albert. Door closes. Wood creaking. Wood breathing shakily. I did everything you asked. Hissing grass. I don't, t- I didn't tell anyone. Grass groaning. 